Hi everyone, my name is Dr Kate Cook and I'm going to be talking to you for a few minutes about writing good articles on Wikipedia. Before we begin with the process, I thought we'd just spend a little bit of time talking about what it a good article is on the basis that we sort of hope all articles would be good articles but in fact what's meant by this term when we think about Wikipedia specifically is an article that's passed a specific set of extra quality criteria. Um, now they're judged by other Wikipedians so in fact you could get involved with judging um, and kind of passing good articles if you wanted to. Um, so they're not there's no kind of external process of review um, except that quite a lot of the reviewers who do this sort of reviewing of good articles tend to do quite a few of them. So so they are um they know what they're looking for. They're familiar with the criteria. They're familiar with what makes a good Wikipedia article. Um, other than that extra experience, they are just editors like the rest of us. Approximately one in 191 Wikipedia articles are good articles. So it doesn't apply to all articles on the site. Um, and a little bit later on, I'll be talking about some of the things that might make an article not suitable for being a good article at a particular point in time. Um, they are usually not quite as comprehensive as the real gold star articles. These are featured articles on Wikipedia. So you can have normal articles, you can have good articles, and then if your article is really good, you can go for featured article status. Good articles are a level below below that, um, but they're still considered, because they're good, um, shiny or fancy enough to be eligible for extra showcasing. Um, for example, when an article gets promoted to good article status, it becomes eligible for a run in the Did You Know box, which is designed to draw attention to particular articles. So they are a little bit more special than your standard article. Um, as an example, to show you what sort of thing is required, I've got this uh, example of my first good article on Grace McCurdy. As you can see, the key things to note are that it's pretty detailed. This is only part of the article, this is just kind of the first screenshot. Um, and it has an image as well, um, which not all our articles do, and this is something which is quite important that I'll come on to in a moment. So. Uh, just so that you can see what you're looking for in terms of looking at other articles. Um, if you go into an article and you see this little uh, green cross in a circle in the corner of it, that means it's past the good article process. So this is what you're looking for if you'd like to compare other good articles and see what kind of things that uh, editors have done in order to qualify them for that status. Anything with that green cross is currently on the good article list. So how do you get your article to be a good article? Well, the process is very straightforward. And in fact, um, the process has been designed to be, it's deliberately straightforward um, because they are keen to get people participating in it. So of course, first you write the article. When you're finished, you nominate an article and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. It just involves putting a little tag on your article's talk page. Um, if you're going to nominate, you need to be someone preferably who either has authored the article or at least has substantially contributed to the article's current form, the form that it's in when you nominate it. Um, you wait for a reviewer, which may take a little while because sometimes um, there's quite a big backlog. I read recently the current backlog is 400 articles, so it may take a few days. It may take a little while longer. The reviewer will draw your attention to the fact that they're now looking at your article and then they will write a report on what they think uh, needs to be done, if anything, to qualify the article for good article status. Then you respond with any necessary changes. And this is why it's particularly important that uh, you are either the kind of main author of the article or at least that you've done a lot of updating of the article because it's very difficult to respond to necessary changes if you don't know the article well or you don't know the subject well. And changes might include things like wanting more citations or they might be rewrites of the prose or they might feature um, changes to the structure of the article. So it's really important that you know the material well enough to be able to do that if you've nominated the article. When you finish this process, and this may take a little bit of discussion, it's quite often not just a sort of um, report, respond, go. Sometimes it takes a few steps, a few stages that people want to change and work through. Then the article either pale, passes or fails the good article check. Um, if it fails, all hope is not lost, you can rewrite, keep working on the article, keep improving, bring it in more sources and all that sort of thing, and then submit it again for review under the good article process. Um, there's no limit. It's not the case that an article is kind of always ruled out once it's failed. So this can be an ongoing process that you work through. 
Um, in terms of the submission, everything around good articles and how they're put together is done here. This is the Wikipedia good articles page. Um, I've put a link to it on the bottom of this slide, but you can also find this just by Googling or using another search engine to find Wikipedia good articles. And as you can see, they've got the main page, which gives you some information about good articles and how they work. There's a list of the criteria, which we'll look at in a moment. There are instructions for nominating. There is a tab for nominations. This is all the articles currently on the list waiting to be reviewed. And as with all Wikipedia uh, articles, there is a discussion section as well. And there's the reassessment situation, which I'll come on to in a moment. Um, when you think your article is ready, it has to pass the following criteria. So this is what they're judged on in order to become a good article. So the articles must be well written, verifiable, broad in coverage, neutral, stable and illustrated. Uh, so while by well written, um, of course, they just generally mean well written, but they also Wikipedia articles to, that get promoted to good article need to have um, the full set of uh, style guidelines followed. So in terms of what they expect from a lead section, um, that it has one and that this is kind of clear and the appropriate length for the article, layout and so on all need to map very closely onto Wikipedia's style guidelines. Um, verifiable, so no original research and all the sources you'd expect um, to support an article of this kind, just as you would with any Wikipedia article. Broad in coverage, so just like any of the others. I've said that this is a little bit more comprehensive than some types of article, and it is, but that still doesn't mean that it should go into extreme detail. So you want to maintain summary style, but cover all of the main aspects of the topic that the article is on. Like with all Wikipedia articles, it has to be neutral in point of view. Um, the last two are slightly different. So all of those are criteria for kind of general Wikipedia articles anyway. But the last two, it being stable, means it can't be in the middle of an edit war. Because apart from anything else, it's a real waste of a reviewer's time if they don't know which version they're supposed to be reviewing. Um, and so people can't be disagreeing over the content. If that applies to your article, wait until it's done and then submit it. Don't try and submit an article that's in the middle of conflict over its content into this kind of reviewing process. And also they like good articles to be illustrated. This isn't mandatory, but it is something that reviewers like to see. So it, uh, any page without an image or without any kind of media um, may struggle to get through the good article process. They do like them to have something on there. In terms of nominating, as I've said, all you have to do is put the tag, which you can see in these nominating instructions, onto your talk page, and then that will draw the attention of the reviewers. You also, when you put this tag up, need to choose a subtopic for the page. This is just about letting the reviewers know roughly what area it falls in so that a reviewer who's got interest in that area can come and have a look. Um, for women classicists, it tends to be the case I put mine uh, in language and literature or sometimes history. Um, there may be other fields that fit better but what you don't want is someone who knows an awful lot about chemistry and absolutely nothing about women's education or history or any humanities coming along to your page on a women scholar because they won't feel able to really engage with it so this is just about flagging up the most re uh, relevant reviewer so that you get someone who's happy to work on your page come to look at it um, and then as i said you wait uh, the reviewer it will come and announce themselves and then you get engaged with the process of discussing anything that they would like to see changed. Um, occasionally, but very rarely, you may need a change of reviewer if um, the reviewer is not feeling qualified to, to deal with the situation or you significantly disagree with the review process, but this has never happened to me. I don't think it's very common. Normally, you and the reviewer can work together really well to make your article as good as it can be as part of this process. And then you pass or fail, as I've said. So what are my kind of key tips in terms of writing a good article? What do I think you should know before you go and get your articles ready? Um, one thing I'd say is that not all articles are necessarily suitable, certainly at the kind of current time. So if your article hasn't got an image, I've already said that is going to make it harder. Um, and some articles are just, uh, they're shorter or they haven't got quite the same range of sources available because of the topic they're on. It, that may mean that as more sources come out or as you get hold of an image, you can come back to a page, edit it up to good article standard and then submit it later. So it's not the case, I think, that any article is kind of permanently banned from this status unless it's a list. Um, as long as it is an article, um, it may be able to get to good article status. But if it's not ready at the moment, it's best to wait rather than get engaged with something that isn't really ready um, and work on something that can be made ready and come back to your first article later. 
do make sure you have time to commit to the review and response process. There are often delays, as I've said, with finding a reviewer, and then there may need to be delays on your part as well. But um, reviewers put a lot of effort into writing often quite detailed reports, and um, they can get a bit frustrated if you just don't respond for weeks on end. So make sure that if you're going to submit a process, an article into this process, that you leave yourself some time um, that you can deal with responding. Do engage with review comments in good faith. I've said this should be a process about making your article as good as it can be, and it often is. You can often really improve articles by going through this process. Um, having said that, don't be afraid to disagree, particularly if you're talking to a non-specialist um, or someone who, it's inevitable that your reviewer is not going to know the page as well as you do. So if there's something they suggest that you don't think will work, just indicate why, a little bit like dealing with peer reviewers, really. Do keep an eye on your good articles. Once you finish uh, promoting your good article, um, they are regularly reassessed. So this is the reassessment process that I mentioned earlier to see if they've stayed at good article status. And if not, they can drop off the list. So do keep an eye on them. Um, and it's also worth being aware that when an article becomes a good article, it may attract more attention. So things like vandalism or even just kind of not very sensible edits might get attracted a little bit more often. So um, it's worth making sure you've got them on your wish watch list and you can keep an eye um, out for any changes that come across. And finally, do ask for help. Um, we have all had our first good articles talked through um, by a colleague in the WCC Wiki Pro. Uh, team we are more than happy to talk you through the process whether that's uh, taking a look at your pros or helping you find sources or images or anything like that so do get in touch with us if you think you've got an article you'd like to start submitting for good article and you'd just like someone to get involved and give you a hand we will be really happy to do that and uh, I shall be around for any questions after this